Okay, you know, I wasn't going to teach about impulse, but I just got this idea, you know, why not teach impulse? That's, that's supposed to be a joke, you know. Uh, but anyway, this is the notion, the physics formula for impulse is that impulse is force times time. Impulse causes a change in momentum. So if you want to make something change its momentum, you just exert a force times time on it, right? Okay. And of course, if you know, if, if you don't exert a force, if, you, if there's a force that does, isn't exerted for any time, there's no impulse, right? Okay. Uh, this is also really, really very basic, okay? Uh, if you exert 12 newtons for four seconds, right, your impulse, and we don't have any other symbol for it, right, is force times time, all right? So that's like elapsed time, right? So that equals uh, force is 12 newtons and uh, 4.0 seconds. Okay, let me get my calculator. Oh, that's 48 newton seconds, right? And there isn't any other unit for impulse except newton seconds, okay? Now, before I hit the, you know, the right arrow and go to the next type of, new, of impulse problem, um, let me just, sh let's look at newton seconds. A newton is a kilogram meter per second squared, right? Because F equals M A, that's A, right? That's a Newton, and a Newton times a second, right? This is a Newton second. Well, seconds goes the way of the bison, and you end up with kilogram meters per second. Isn't that just momentum? Momentum is in kilogram meters per second, so this is a change in momentum. It's equal, it has the units of momentum, okay? Now, which one should you use? I don't know, if I multiply a force by uh, time, I write Newton seconds. Um, and if I'm calculating momentum and it's mass times velocity, I, I leave it this way. It doesn't matter, okay? Okay, so sometimes uh, you want to find the uh, impulse and they give you a force graph, force versus time. And the important thing is that this area right here, this length times width, right? Or however you calculate it, that is the impulse, okay? And so in this case, this is 100 newtons, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this must be uh, 20, and this is 40 newtons. So we've got to read the graph, right? And it's exerted for 6 seconds, right? So the impulse, this is easy. It's just a rectangle, right? So it's, it's the area under, right? Equals length times width. That's a W. Okay, so that is the length, depending on how you want to argue about this, this is 6 seconds uh, times 40 newtons. And 6 seconds times 40 newtons is 240 newton seconds. Okay? So those are the two types of problems. And then obviously we can you know, draw little shapes. And, and, uh, but even if the area, you know, if the, if, the, if, the, if the graph does this, right, if you can somehow figure it out with calculus or something like that, that area will be the impulse. Okay.